Hi everyone, today I will show you how to install PopOS 22.04 with manual partitioning. I have listed here the steps to achieve this successfully. So first we need to boot to the operating system to PopOS operating system using bootable USB flash drive or ISO. Here I will use VMware, so I will use ISO file. Then we will check the disk availability using LSPLK. After that we will move to the EFI boot supported. We'll check if this uh, EFI port is supported on the system the, using mount by grip EFI var. Once we finish the checking of EFI, then we will move to create a partition table using GBT or MBR, then format the disk. Here, to decide which one to use, is depend on it, uh, it is depend on EFI port support. If it's supported EFI, then we can go with GBT. If it's not, we can stick with the legacy MBR. We will use the tool called the graphical user user interface tool called gparted we will create three partitions first one is boot then recovery the, th the third one is lvm partition the lvm partition we will use lvm2 to create physical volume volume group logical volume using the command bv create vg create lv create so the lv using lv create we will create two partitions the first one is a swap partition the second one is root partition then we will use uh, PopOS to continue our installation. After the installation finish, we will reboot the operating system. Then we will boot from the disk that we install PopOS on top of it and log in to the operating system as a user that we create. With all that being said, let's jump in. As you can see here, I booted up here as an PopOS, which is uh, 22.04 LTS. Here the installer. So we will proceed with select then select then select i will keep everything as default select again here we will not proceed with the installation we will try here try demo mode press here then we will run the terminal here i will first check the disk availability lsplk we can see here that this disk is available for the installation is 30 gb now we need to check if the efi is uh, supported we can see the EFI var fs, which is the file system, is supported. So using uh, the window key, then try to write G parted like this. Hit enter. We can see the G parted application will uh, raise up. So to to create a, a partition table, we will press on device create partition table. Here we will select the GBT because EFI is supported. Apply. So once we create the partition table, now we will start formatting this disk. Let's create the first partition. So the first partition will be boot and the size will be a uh, half giga. And then uh, the file system is FAT32. Let's uh, hit add. Let's create the second partition. The second partition will be slash recovery. The size will be four gigabytes. Then let's press add. Let's create the third partition. The third partition will be slash, which is root file system. I give all the remaining space. The file system will be LVM2BV. Let's hit add. Now let's apply, then apply. Then let's close. Now we can see here that the three partitions are created. Let's close this one. Now we back again to the terminal. We need to switch to root. Switch to root, we can use sudo minus i. Now we will use lsplk. We can see that we have three partitions created. So this partition, we will use it to create the file system and swap. So to create a physical volume, we will use bv create slash div nvme 0 n one P3. Hit enter. You can see here that the physical volume successfully created. To create a, a volume group, we can use VG create OSVG. I name it. The volume group name is OSVG. Then I use the third partition of the NVMe and one. Enter. The VG is created. Now we need to create a logical volume. So to create a logical volume, we have two logical volumes: swab and root file system. The first one is a swab. To create a swap logical volume, we can use this command lv create osvg, which is the volume group, minus n. The name of the logical volume is a swap, minus l capital, 
and then we will put the size which is 8 GB hit enter we can see that the logical volume swap created successfully now let's create a root logical volume so to create the root logical volume we will use this command lv create or svg which is the volume group minus n this is the name of the logical volume root minus l small then i will give 100 percent free that means we will use all the remaining space in the volume group so let's list the logical volumes we can see that we have two logical volumes root and swap so once we finish from the gparted and logical volume uh, creation now we will proceed with the pop installation so we'll press this icon this installer will uh, raise up for us we can right now keep the, everything default and select english select select and then also select here we will go with the custom advance continue we can see here that it show us the this menu here we will assign the partition for yes slash boot efi everything i wish also to format it this one for recovery i will name it here recovery the file system will be 32 and then i will format here because we are using the logical volume here lvm osvg this is the volume group we will select here this will be for the root file system the default is extension 4 you can check which file system you prefer for me i like to stick with extension 4 here i will use it as a swab partition let's have a look and final check we can see everything is fine now we can proceed with the is and install here we need to provide a username here you need to enter the password then next then the installation process will start as we can see here the installer is finished right now we can restart the device now it's ask us to log in let's uh, provide the credentials hit enter now i log in to the pop os operating system let's continue the our installation now the welcome screen will uh, pop for us it will ask us to customize you can pick what uh, customization you like i will press the default and next same here next 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 keep dark next the privacy is off next next here we need to skip now we can start using popos now i check the lsplk i can see here that uh, the operating system right now is installed successfully we have three partitions the p1 p2 p3 for nvme now we can see here the boot efi which is installed right now successfully the recovery also and we have here the lvm partition which is the first one is uh, swab and the second one is root we can see here by default the swap come encrypted there is one thing else i need to show you we will run the settings we come here to the os upgrade recovery you can see here that we have here the os recovery is installed successfully you should this one should be appear here in the settings os upgrade and recovery then you can update this uh, and refresh the operating system in case if there is anything happened to the operating system so i finish right now I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye.